Hello, welcome guys. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for those who subscribe, who like and comment. So we're gonna get right into it at this time. We are creating a graduation cap upper template. All right. So I started off with a eight and a half by eleven um design in Canva. So uh, you definitely can use a free account. Um to do this as well um i also have the templates available in my shop at the career boss academy com the link is below so i'm just showing you of course how you can change different colors uh, when you're designing um, your graduation cap um, the template comes in black so you have the choice of changing it any color you like um also adding um, the circle in the middle there. Um, the circle is about 0.8 or 0.75. Uh, you go right into shapes and you add the circle in the middle of the square. And the square is the size of a standard graduation cap, um, which is um, 8 Two five, if I'm not mistaken. So that's why I used uh, the entire page is eight and a half by eleven, which is something you could be able to print out um, at your home uh, computer. Um, there are other sizes like nine point two five or nine point five. Um, of course, you would uh, have a bigger uh, design space, maybe eleven by seventeen will be a size you will do it um, and then of course if you have the printer to be able to print that out uh, you can go ahead and print it out from home or you can offer it as a digital product for your customer all right so those are your two options you can actually print it out yourself and mail it to uh, the customer once you design it or you could just offer it as a printable and they can go ahead and print it out and you can give them instructions on uh, printing out on cardstock um, and how to uh, um, attach it to their uh, the actual uh, cap, graduation cap. Um, so I'm just going into elements. Um, floral, of course, is always a big one uh, with graduation caps uh, decorations. Uh, so. I'm not sure why I picked this color. Uh, it's not the brightest or beautifulest color, um, but I just did something uh, simple. So just organizing it. Um, there's a way where if you want to, you can go ahead, like I said, this is on an eight and a half by 11 sheet. So you can make it bigger and maybe do um, a 10 by 10 or 11 by 14. Um, so you can maybe rotate the cap um on the surface so you can uh, make sure everything is angled but you try to know that the point up top is the top point of the graduation cap that's going to be um on the graduation uh cap taped or uh throw curled on um so you try to uh, make sure you're on that angle when you're adding words or when you're putting a uh, design on it, um, you can do custom design. I'm not going to. I'm going to kind of have some pre-made designs already that they could pick from and maybe some choices for personalization, maybe to add their name or maybe a special quote, but have a general design because um, it can be quite lucrative because, of course, you could charge more for custom designs, but it could be very time consuming and if you're not a true graphic artist um it could be a bit too much and overwhelming and we don't want to have that because we got things to do we got children to take care of household to take care of some of us even working part-time or full-time so this is just a way to earn extra income using a digital product that you can also turn into a physical product to ship out to customers so again um I'm just kind of looking, angling it, because uh, I want to make sure when it's printed out and they put it 
on their cap and he'll be able to see the message clearly when they turn it uh what is it counterclockwise just a little on the angle um you put it on their cap um so again this is adjusting the flowers you can use anything uh like i was doing earlier i was changing the color uh, so the cap can even be white um and you can add uh, different elements and uh, quotes on the white background of the cap it doesn't necessarily have to be black it could be any color um so again i'm just playing around with the fonts uh playing around with the color see what looks good if you're going to print this out um i believe uh, you want to go 40 pounds and up in the cardstock some even use glossy cardstock paper uh, thicker paper uh, but I want it to be weighty uh, so 40 pounds and up some even do 70 pounds to get that good quality um, paper to print out the graduation topper on for the customer um, and having the hole there is an option. I know someone who is on Etsy selling thousands of graduation toppers and she doesn't include the hole. Um, so it's just, um, if people want to, they can add that. And I just decided the hole is in the way. Um, you can still put your tassel under this, uh, design, um, and it'll work. You'll still be able to use and switch uh, your tassel over so um, my design is not going to have the hole in it okay um, so here I'm just showing a way you can uh, print them out so again if you're going to um, you can give the customer option as a JPEG and also as a PDF option as well so you're able to download both options uh, JPEG even um, SVG, uh, some of the students um, might have a Cricut, and so they want to cut it out on a Cricut. Uh, so you can save it as a, you do need a pro account in order to save it as a SVG, but you can save it as a PNG and a PDF and be able to um, go ahead and upload that, either on your website or um, your link tree or your beacon, whatever platform, your pay hip, uh, website whatever you're using to be able to uh, sell your product so this is just me downloading it and kind of making a listing um, in a way uh, to showcase uh, that design that I may add um, on my website along with the description and upload um, the actual document um, so as you can see, it looks pretty cool. Uh, it looks like I might make some changes. Um, but for the most part, if they put this on their graduation cap, uh, you can see the message and you can see the flowers. Uh, so I hope you guys like this quick tutorial. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.